So with the zipper closed, apply a small amount of lubricant to the rag and use the rag to work the lube into the urethane of the zipper. Do not apply lubricant directly to the zipper teeth. You usually do this at home, you know, before you get on your trip. But, that would you know, have been a good idea. Whatever. It's always fun to have new stuff. Any tick on me? Good man, Pedro. Oh, that's Be a, vigilant. That's a trophy tick. Yeah, first one of the trip. So, one thing that you want to do with these boats is... I don't know, like, it feels completely stupid to put my rifle and the scope right against all the rocks of the river. <laughs> I'm just, my scope's going in there and that's just, I don't know. That's a little crazy to me. Yeah. He just read the instruction of the raft, so I'm not sure how confident, <laughs> how safe we are. What do I need to put in there? Your gun. And anything else? Everything. Everything in there? Almost. One thing I've always learned, you have to trust your coach. We're all here to win, and if your coach is telling you a certain play, and right now the play is to put the rifle on the raft, I'm going to listen to my coach every time. <laughs> that lens is close. <laughs> 18 mil. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my name is Pedro. <laughs> nice to meet you all. All right. Stop it. Everything. <laughs> How many times you have done this? Uh, quite a few times. Quite a few times. How many times did the gear get wet? A few times. Okay. Just a few out of quite a few. So. Have you lost any partners? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the river comes up with all this heat, maybe we might lose one of us. But uh, no, it's this is a real easy crossing today. This water's great. It's not. I mean, I can see the bottom probably a couple feet of viz, and it's when it's up here where we're standing, then we got to worry, and it's just logs and coming is down. Is it that risky to have the backpack on top? It is. It's just, you don't have much leg space in these boats. Um, they're just meant to be packed. You know, this is a five-pound boat, and I don't have any space for my legs, so I just get everything inside. Backpack, okay. food, rifle. I know that's a little weird, but everything goes in, so... And it stays bone dry. Even these little uh, white caps out here that we have, these little riffles in these boats, you'll have a little come over. So your gear is way drier inside the pontoons than on the deck. Well, this is not that bad, but like, this one I already... <laughs> what happened, Pedro? I don't know, I think the system didn't work that well. <laughs> but this right foot is way better. See, Ryan and I are bone dry, but Pedro and uh, Brady are soaking wet. How, how did you call that raft? Self... Self-bailing. Self-bailing and self-leaking. <laughs> self <-leaking. laughs> so, but I think we'll still be able to get your boots dry with this teepee in the stove. So by tomorrow, you should, you should be good. I think I fared a lot better than Pedro, but I mean, I was in the front doing all the work. <laughs> so I had the better, better seat in that house. We're figuring our kinks out right now. That's the main part. We're learning. It's all a learning experience. All right, we packed up the raft hung the raft in a tree because bears are curious and we don't want to have a bear mess with our raft so we can't get back across so hung up in a tree tied it up and now we're gonna hit the trail put some miles on it smells like bear dead bear all right well it's late april we uh the four of us are bombing in 
we got Pedro here, we got Brady Miller, Brian Call, and myself. And uh, the goal is to find some bears. We've got quite a few tags to fill, and um, we've got 10 days to do it. So, um, yeah, we're gonna glass our eyeballs off and crush as many miles as it takes here in the next handful of days and locate some bears and get the job done. That's the plan. It's on. Hopefully, Pedro gets uh, a bear. He shot one black bear so far in his life, and it was rather unimpressive, so he's looking for something more girthy and substantial this time around. And um, so I'd like to see that happen. I've never hunted with Brady Miller before either, so that's cool. This is an experienced crew of hunters and it's gonna be fun. We're getting after it, going deep. We're gonna find some, we're gonna find some studs, I'm sure. And um, excited to see what happens. It's always an adventure, something happens. Something awesome usually happens at least once. At least once. And that's all you need. We just spotted the first bear of the trip. It's like 250 meters away. We're gonna put the spot in school. We got a really nice chocolate. Looks like a good bear, a good mature bear. Really cool chocolate color to him, so. He's bedded down just beside this tree. You just kind of see a little piece of his arm sticking up right now. But he's only 180 yards, has no idea what's, what's going on. We got a, we got a good crap on this. Friendly advice, never waste an opportunity on the first day of the hunt because you may regret and that it's just what I did but I think Brian's gonna get on position for to shoot this bear.
passing over somewhere. Snoozing away. How cold. Sleeping. He didn't give a crap about Ryan's predator calls. Those men to grab a call didn't even care to him. He knew to be with Just need him to stand up and. Yeah, I just need this bear to stand up and it's all over. Come on. We're probably gonna be here like five hours. Yeah, it's a waiting game. See its power? Yep. Oh, There's cubs. That's oh, cubs. Oh, he, he's killed on a cub. That was a cub that ran out. That was the one, because remember one under the tree and he went after it? Yeah. That's a cub.
for that way you shoot him in the head. He wants a giant. <laughs> I didn't like that quarter and two, but he was a giant. Like you put it that far, and I figured I put it middle and middle there. Check this out. You got it in slow mo. Yeah, it's slow mo right now. Oh Ooh. my! Perfect. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was amazing. Right behind me. Five cameras rolling. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Height wise. Yeah, it's really high, good maybe? because it's, it could just right, tip of his it, elbow. Yeah, because his gut's so low. Perfect. Yeah. And, and you don't want to break the leg in there in that situation. No. Mm -mm. You don't want to go like. I didn't want you like uh, right so, here. Mm -mm. No. Not on bears. It's the one animal we don't go for shoulders. They just tongue. If we would have got a shoulder hit right there, it could have punched through, or he could have ran a long ways. God. His lips. Right that's what it off is. The tip of that. Elbow. Look at the size Man, of that is a <laughs> the big bear. That is a dumpster his, bear right there. He's a butt in his middle. Hey, no, thanks, brother. Thanks, no. brother. What a perfect shot, Brian. Okay, check this out. Oh. Man, couldn't have put that in a better spot. You tell it is. First one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look at that thing. Dude, I think this bear's got the diabetes, bro. <laughs> yeah, he never yes. wanted to get up. So Do you see him laying there? So the right after the shot, a bear started shimmying down out of the tree that this big brute was under and and then ran across this rock face. He wanted to eat that. I think he wanted to kill bear. that bear. This bear, you just saved this bear's life, bro. I am a hero. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All in a day's work. That's why that bear was Some, just sitting there at the base of that tree, just blah. He just wasn't looking going up. Yeah, looking. He's at laying dinner. on his back, looking at his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> this is a giant, absolute giant. You'd think though he wouldn't be so hungry for meat right now. Is it a territorial thing? No. Just a mean thing, or just a bully? I don't know. Your but, bear doesn't look like he'd run. He'd run too fast. <laughs> <laughs> but he looked like he'll put the hurt on him when he comes oh, down. Man. That bear shimmied down quick, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, first we thought it was a cub, but it's it's a That is an old bear, dude. Bigger than a cub. Oh, his nice. lips when he gets rocked, his whole mouth, his whole body just just gets rocked. I mean look how right off the tip of this elbow that angle perfect. Oh, that's a big bear. Yeah, that hind end is huge. It's <laughs> huge. Well, now we got some work. We got, we got a little portage. We got some stuff to do here. So this is pretty calm, though. Yeah, we got a good spot to there. Hoof it down. Not too bad. Leave our stuff on this side. Just, Just take the need. minimum stuff. Oh, Pedro, that was a long. He was playing with. He's it. laying like this. <laughs> and I could see his muzzle. I could see his neck. I, he's, I, he's got a huge white patch right, yep. right here. Giant white patch. You know, I'm like, I just cool. didn't have enough real estate to take that shot until then. But I didn't know if he'd turn and, you know, I'm like, I can get it in there. It was a perfect opportunity. Yeah. Was, Brady was, was perfect, getting his rifle ready. Perfect, <laughs> perfect you waited. I know. Pedro, Pedro's over there like... Yeah. Right here, <laughs> uh, dude. I could have shot him in the head, the neck, the whole time. But you just with bears, they if you hit him in the you hit him in the lungs, they're just done. They go nowhere. They're over. You hit him in the neck or even the head, they oh, can do. Shoulder. That first time I did have a peak, mm -hmm. but it was a high mm -hmm. shot. I didn't. I didn't. Couldn't get the bullet low because the hill would be in the way. And I think it was good you waited. You got you got the best of the shots right there. That angle. So what happened? I was Shot. filming back there, catching up to you. I come around the corner and you're all three going, bear, bear. bear, bear. Pedro he picked it up with his eyes. I saw him just whip his binos up and immediately. I thought it was going to be another bear. stump. <laughs> I saw brown thing. Tell me what happened. I saw a brown thing and it's gonna be my hundred number, stop number 100, but it wasn't. It was the butt of a big bear, so. So you saw its butt? Yeah. And it just lay down for, for a second. Good eyes, man. I'm just thinking about, I don't wanna cross that river that dark and get wet again. <laughs> smell him look at that mark on his chest oh dude look at how broad his chest is look at that I mean he's got that thick huge neck right yeah 
Good luck, he's fat. Doesn't want to move. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than, um, you know, he's just thick and stocky. Mm -hmm. Coat's thick, head is big. He's an older bear. He's got chipped, his front canines are chipped and ground down. You don't see that very often with this color. That's so thick. Not rubbed out at all. Sweet. Oh, that other bear. He was gonna eat him. I needed him to, I mean, all I could see was the top of his back. Mm -hmm. Most, or his belly, or, or his ear. legs. Or an ear. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's all I could That's see when he was sitting there and like had his paw sit up in here for a while and then rolling around. <laughs> Just that big front shoulders. Yeah, his neck and shoulder, his front half is huge, his huge. back half. This kind of tapers he, off a little bit. Yeah, but he's bowling pin shaped. Yeah. Definitely, what is that, mesoter mesomorphic? Your wife's a doctor, Ryan. Is it like... Yeah. It was, just, it was just so cool to watch how chill he was and just content at doing what a bear does, just hanging out. You know, the whole demeanor, rolling on the back, flipping over, laying forward, facing us for a little while. They might get a shot, but now you're not going to get a shot. They're a little people-like. Yeah, they really are. You said you felt a little guilty. I started to feel guilty when he was doing all these poses and like the paw in the air. Like a bear at the zoo. You're yeah. like... <laughs> You told him it was just you know what? relaxed, staring at the other bear, though. He's going to eat good, though. Super good. We didn't even have to ch chase, like, hike after him. <laughs> That's just really cool. Stop and wait. I loved it. Oh. Now we got work cut out for us, so. Let's break it down. Pretty good at this. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <you're sick. laughs> that was awesome, dude. Jeez. That weight up front makes it wanky. All right, I'm gonna put this away. Okay. All right, we got across the river. 
We had to make four trips. Well, five. No, four. I can't remember. But we're heading to uh, set up camp. We got we got uh, dinner and camp to look forward to. I think there's a flat spot somewhere down here. Maybe 400 yards, half a mile. We'll see. Do you know what time it is? I don't. What time is it, Brady? Like 1.30? 1.23 in the morning. Nice. It's a good, good day. It's Party good. time. It's our night hike. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, Brad and I are going to get into mm -hmm. a little bit of behind the scenes with this hunt. Um, like, who gets to shoot the bear? Like, people always ask, who gets to shoot first? Yep. How does that work out? We'll get into that a little bit. Uh, we'll get into uh, cannibalism among grizzly bears and black bears. Mm -hmm. uh, we have It's a pretty interesting discussion. Uh, bears are... Bears are gnarly. Yes. Uh, and also just, I think it's good to talk about this bear in general. It was a spectacular bear. You don't come across bears this big, this no. this much fat on them, this time of year. So uh, we'll get into all that. Before we do that, though, we have big, big giveaways that we have going on right now. Everybody needs gear. It's almost hunting season. It's right up around the corner. If you're shopping for gear, go to the Go Hunt gear shop. Use yep. the code GRITTY right now. And you are going to get a discount site-wide. Download their digital maps before your season begins. If you use the code GRITTY, you basically get it for 30 bucks Because mm -hmm. upon purchase, they're going to give you a $20 gift card for the uh, Go Hunt Gear Shop. Tw $20 credit for the Go Hunt Gear Shop. Yep. Um, you get discounts on memberships across the board. So it's awesome. But not only do you get all these discounts right now. You are entered to win like a $500 gift card, a new PSE bow, a dozen Black Eagle arrows. The new Eberly Stock Recon Bino Harness. Bino Harness. Broadheads. Yep. Uh, Goat knife. Yep. There's Peaks equipment. So go shop over there for all your stuff. Yep. And then also, Stealthy Hunter wanted in on all this giveaway stuff yeah. and these prize packages. So he put together a killer, killer package spectacular package yeah uh, he's got probably the best package we've ever had ever had <laughs> uh, uh a pse xf uh evo xf yep. bow new compound dozen arrows day six broadheads a pass to the western hunting summit yeah that's like a 1600 dollar value yep. he's got uh crispy boots yep pair of crispy boots in yep. there goat knife game bag Peaks, game bags Peaks gators equipment. poles headlamps and then you also get $300 to the Stealthy Shop for Stealthy Nutrition Products. I know we're missing some stuff. There is so, a lot. Anyway, you're entered to win all that just by shopping at Stealthy Hunter. We're trying to grow um, Ryan's platform over there, and they have a lot of great products. I recommend the CBD sleep mm -hmm. gummies, I, the regular gummies for uh, joint health, reducing inflammation, super quality stuff for your gut and your overall health. Yep. And uh, then they have their glassing pads and their rifle covers. And you get 10% off at the site right now, site-wide, if you use the code GRITTY. Yep. And you're entered to win the big prize. Can't go wrong. Get yourself some stuff over there at Stealthy Nutrition. Let's get these giveaways from last week out of the way. Okay, some lucky person is going to win a dozen Black Eagle arrows. You mm -hmm. tell us what your draw length is, your poundage, all that. We're going to send you a dozen arrows. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who leaves a comment. We can't thank you enough. Our channel is growing. We're nearly at 100,000 yeah. subscribers. We're getting so, there. So thank you. Brad's just randomly scrolling through the YouTube comments here. Yep. And uh, we're going to pick a winner. Brad, go ahead and boom. Who we got? Michael Ferry. Great hunt. I hope I can be that calm if I ever have such a close encounter with such a beautiful animal. Great job, everyone. All right. So uh, just leave us, uh, send us your address and your information. Uh, send it all to email us at uh, grittybowman at grittybowman.com. Yep. And we have one more giveaway. We're giving away a pair of Leupold sunglasses. sunglasses. You can pick. There's lots of styles. They're great. Solid piece of eyewear. Yep. Our, our winner for that, for sharing the hunt on Instagram, again, we thank everybody. We can't give a prize to everyone, but we really appreciate you yes. sharing it. Because I don't think we win on the YouTube algorithms for some reason. No. Probably because of my political opinions. <laughs> but um, we grow from word of mouth. People find out about yeah. our films because you all share it with your buddies. And uh, the Instagram uh, shares really help get the word out. Say, hey, there's a new gritty film out, and you don't want to miss it mm -hmm. to all your friends. So the winner is... 
James Jurban. Jubran. Jubran. Yep. Uh, Fall can't get here fast enough. Until then, go check out this gritty film. And he tagged me and you and yep. Stealthy. Thank you. But thank you to everyone. James, send us uh, an email at grittybowman at grittybowman.com. Yep. And uh, we'll get these sunglasses out to you. Let's talk about this this hunt a little bit. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Pedro. Pedro, love this guy. He came out and hunted. He is a bona fide archery f- fanatic. Yep. He has killed so many animals with a bow. He's international because he's from Spain. He's gone all over the world. But his film and his storytelling is great. And he's just... He is a funny dude and mm-hmm. just fun to hunt with. So, so hungry for knowledge, but also so experienced and skilled at the same time. Um, and uh, I just love the guy. If you haven't seen one of his films, let me recommend one of them. One of them is this Mongolian hunt for an Ibex over there. Yep. And that, I'll put a link right here. It is a cool, cool hunt. Uh, more, I mean, props to Pedro. That is a physically demanding Mentally, he makes a great shot with his bow at crazy yardage on steep angles. Mm-hmm. If you're a bow hunter, you don't want to miss it. It's an epic adventure. I'll never do it, but I still got to watch it and see it. He also has a father-son moose hunt that he self-filmed uh, where him and his dad shot a moose. He got one with a bow. His dad took a giant with a rifle. So check those out. Go give Pedro a follow. Follow him on his uh, Instagram. Yep. Uh, we have his links in the film. Great guy. So, And I have to thank Pedro. Because as we were walking down the trail there, and I just finished filming, and I was filming some stuff, and I'm messing with the camera per usual, they're out in front leaving me in the dust, and I come walking around the corner, and they're like, bear, 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 big old bear up there. And uh, Pedro saw it. And he who sees it gets to decide whether they want to shoot it or not. Uh, So he who sees it first, and in this case, Pedro spotted the bear first. So... I'm trying I'm trying to get the camera ready so Pedro can take this shot and all that. And Pedro's like, yeah, no, I ain't shooting this. I'm not going to shoot this bear. And I'm like, what do you mean you're not going to shoot this bear? You have to shoot this bear. And he says, ah, it's the first day. This is the very first bear I've ever seen. I'm not about shooting a bear. I don't know bears. I don't appreciate this yeah. bear. We're like, trust us. It's a beautiful, big old bear. Shoot yep. the bear. And Pedro's like, nope, I'm not going to. And uh, he's like, you shoot it, Brian. And I said, all right. I mean, we tried pretty hard to get Pedro mm-hmm. to shoot it. And he's like, no, I want to experience the hunt. We still had nine, ten days yeah. left to go. And he's like, no, I want to. I have came all the way to Spain. I want to feel like I hunted. Like yep. I went after it. Wanted to enjoy the adventure. He wanted to go on a hunt. Mm-hmm. And he wanted, like like he said, he he doesn't understand bears. He doesn't know bears. He wants I to. I mentioned this before when I more. passed on that one bear. I'm yep. on mean, that one deer. Yep. I said, once you punch your tag, okay, it's over. Yeah. Your hunt's over. And he's thinking, I'm going to be here for another nine days, but the thrill of the hunt, it'll still be fun helping everybody else, but the thrill of the hunt yep. for him is gone. Right. And Pedro is more, he's more about the hunt than the trophy. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is his first time. I really admire him for that. I really have a lot of respect for Pedro for making that decision. I'm all about shooting yeah, something big right. that comes in. Especially a gorgeous bear like that, a color phase bear. I think it's one of my best bears uh, that wasn't a coastal Chunky. bear. Chunky. You know? I mean, just awesome. The color. Yeah. I mean, red, red, brown. And, like, you know, not rubbed out. I mean, you can't ask for a better bear. So we set up on the bear, and I get the gun ready. Well... It's like a couple hours before Mm -hmm. he gives me the shot. About 15, 20 minutes in, we know that the bear is not going to move. And I tell Pedro, I work for like 10 minutes trying to get Pedro to shoot this thing. I'm like, Pedro, we've confirmed it's bigger than we thought. You do not want to pass on this. You may not see another bear the whole trip. I mean, you never know what these Mm -hmm. things, never anything like this. Just take the shot. And he's like, no, no. And he's like, what if it gets up right when... You're trying to shoot right right as I'm getting set up. I'm like, well, I'll stay on the rifle. If he gives me a shot, I'll take it. If he doesn't, you're right there, ready to go. We do a handoff. It's all you. He thinks about it for a minute, and he's like, no, you shoot the bear. <laughs> and so I was like, <laughs> aye, aye, sir. I'll, I'll do the lifting here. I'll do it. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. So um, he even said in the video, like, 
word to the wise or something, a word of advice. Yeah. Never pass up on the first day that what you would be happy with. And he's like, yeah, screw that. Like we all are that way. We're like, we'll pass on the first day on all kinds of stuff for the hopes of something different. But um, very generous of Pedro. But the rest of the trip, I felt a lot of pressure to help Pedro get a bear and it came down to the wire. Yeah. Another thing that's worth mentioning is uh, what do you think about bears cannibalizing other bears? So I've witnessed this once in my entire life, and this was from afar. I mean, I'm talking like three quarters of a mile, Mm -hmm. but I've watched a boar, I'm assuming it was a boar, snatch up a cub, like a new lead that year. We all kind of know that boars will kill a cub. What I didn't realize, and this is for Grizz and for Black Bear, Yep. it's like a 250-pound dude tackling a 180-pound dude. it doesn't take much of a weight difference yep. for the one bigger guy to overcome the other in a fight. Yeah, exactly. And what's remarkable is a bear that's 600 pounds, you know, or 500 pounds is getting taken out, you know, by a bear that's 650. Yeah. Or, or you know, yep. and, and so on. It's, it's crazy. It doesn't, it, it's shocking. I thought they only went for really small targets, but it turns out upon no. the research and the reading I've done that, mm-hmm. that, these bears will kill anything they can pretty much kill if, yeah. if they're in that mood. Yep. And um, these bears will take out male or female. And doesn't it is matter. Brutal. And they eat them. <laughs> they don't just kill them. Sometimes they do and they just leave them. Yep. But a lot of times they actually consume them. So these bears, man, they, they're primal, man. They, they don't hold back. And that bear up in the tree, we did not see that bear. We had no idea that yep. bear was there, but we kept looking at him and, I have two hours of video of that bear looking up the tree, and he's just laying there looking. I didn't even think that he was looking up the tree. I just thought he was looking up. But even when he changed position, he'd still kind of look, and then when he's on his back, he'd look. And when we got up around the tree, and we didn't include this in the film, all around the tree in a 15-foot radius, 20-foot radius, bear scat everywhere. Mm-hmm. That bear had been there for days and days. I don't know how many days, but I, I, I suspect because he had water right there, that that bear in the tree was was in trouble. Yeah. Because it didn't really have a way to get down and get away right. without getting snatched. And that other bear could just eat grass, drink water, and wait. Yep. And he was so big and so powerful. I know he's fat and he looks sluggish, but that's not how bears work. No. No. Even though they're fat and sluggish, they're lightning fast. He's more muscular and faster i'm sure than the small yeah. bear i think if that bear did shimmy down he just doesn't have a way to escape before that bear None. gets him None. just no way so i th- i do think that bear was was had every intention on killing that black bear yeah, absolutely um and uh that's par for the course this bear by the way is the the we've never none of us in all the years of bear hunting have ever seen a spring bear with that much fat yeah. we were taking off chunks of fat that were so thick filling bags and bags of it we rendered it when we got home and i've been having deep fried <laughs> french fries and bear fat for uh, about a month maybe month and a half. maybe brian will give me a jar of bear fat because my bear had Dude, zero fat I'm, like nothing i'm telling you man and we killed bears on this hunt that had no fat mm-hmm. either yep. and then this one had insane levels of fat yep. they were killed within within a quarter mile yeah. of each other so yep. I, I don't know all the ins and outs, but dude, this bear was fat and healthy. Yeah. And by the way, bear fat, amazing for <laughs> French fries, any frying at all, breads, Cor- biscuits, tortillas, shells, whatever. Uh, get it super hot. It doesn't denature the oil. It's yep. healthy and good for you. Uh, as as far as animal fats, I mean, it's it's just a phenomenal. It's a great fat, mm-hmm. much better than peanut oil. Or and it's like a forever oil. shelf life too. Yeah, I mean, it's such a useful useful fat my grandpa used to put it into boots and yeah condition weapons with it wood and all kinds of stuff so um it's a uh it's a lost it, it's a valuable resource that people i think have forgotten about yeah. yep. so the other thing um again with the bear fat we usually try to find bears in the fall for that very reason mm-hmm. for that fat yeah. so i felt blessed on this hunt to get get that kind of uh resource out of that bear yeah. and then um i think it's interesting because um this bear is a giant but his head wasn't that big yeah i mean it's a big head but mm-hmm. in fact um you know you can see in the teaser um we kill other bears and even though those bears have bigger heads they had smaller bodies right. than the bear that i shot yep 
And so head size alone, which is how they judge a bear's kind of Boone and Crockett score and mm-hmm. all that, it's not the best because you have a tiny head. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Brad has a tiny head. And, uh, but yeah, he may be more muscular, build. but I'm pretty sure I got wider <laughs> He's shoulders. Taller than he and does, wider. So. <laughs> but his head is tiny. His hat is like on, uh, I don't know which, which. Yeah. I mean, which, it's no different than even my bear this year, though. It was a yeah. giant head with a medium sized body. And I've killed some giant headed bears mm-hmm. in Prince of Wales Island that didn't have the biggest bodies yep. and vice versa. So, um, lots goes into bears, but anyway, yeah. it's a great hunt. Next week's video is much longer, it's like an hour. Plus, hour and 10 minutes, so get the popcorn ready, make it an event, sit down with the family if you can, and really carve out the time. I think you're going to really enjoy the next film. It's it's long, but there's so many bears, and you're going to get a taste for the camaraderie on this trip, yep. and, and just hunters being and How big fun. of a boss Pedro is. <laughs> Pedro <laughs> talks smack. Pedro, uh, I think he gets away with it because he's international, but... And he's a trickster. Dude, he... <laughs> He is a funny guy, and he's he's borderline cruel, but we 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 love him anyway. Yep. Um, but you know how hunters give each other crap. Uh, Pedro can dish it out, and so we have a great time. And I think I think you're going to really enjoy it because Ryan and Brady don't talk. No, they're two of the quietest people on the planet. Yep. Introverts, and I'm there, and I respect Ryan's nature, so I'll do a lot of the talking. But we don't have like tons of we don't talk a lot of smack and stuff. It's subtle. Yeah. A little poke here and there. Pedro never shuts up. <laughs> and I can talk with the best of them. So he and I go the rounds quite a bit. So you're going to get a little slice of film that's a little different than our usual fare. But I think you'll really enjoy it. And then the third yep. episode is just, it's just so cool. I mean, yep. up in the tippy top of the mountains where the goats live in gnarly weather. Yep. And it, it's just so cool. I mean, I can't wait for bear season again to come oh. around. So... Um, anyway, anything else we need to add before we wrap this up? Nope. Just go uh, get in those giveaways. If you need some gear, go to the Go Hunt gear shop. Use the code Gritty. Get yourself the digital maps. Like I said, they have satellite imagery. They have the range finding tool. I think they have, uh, you can download all 50 states. It's yep. all for 30 bucks. Essentially use the code Gritty. You'll get that store credit and you're entered to win. And the same for Stealthy. Go, yep. go give Stealthy Nutrition a shot check out what they have everybody will benefit from something at the store and if you don't have a glassing powder rifle rifle cover get one use the code gritty over there get entered to win that big package and mm-hmm. thank you for tuning in appreciate you we're almost to a hundred thousand subscribers yep. it's the slowest growing youtube channel <laughs> on earth but we are getting close and then we get that plaque maybe we've turned a corner maybe we're going to grow a lot faster yeah. i don't know but we'll see thank you thank you thank you Leave a comment below because next week we will give away a big Peaks package and Stealthy package. Yep. So if you leave a comment below and you like and subscribe to the channel, you'll get Gators, Poles, the Headlamp, all three, and you get a Stealthy rifle cover and glassing pad. So we'll pick one 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 person who left a comment, uh, like and subscribe. And if you share the film on Instagram uh, and tag myself, Brad Hunt, Ryan Lampers, Pedro, Brady yep. Miller, tag us all. We're going to pick uh, a couple of those and give away. Leupold sunglasses. Leupold sunglasses. Mm-hmm. And, and a goat knife. A goat knife. Yep. We got one of these right here. If you don't have one of these, they're cool. They got the neck sheath version. We also have the, uh, we got the Ibex skinning blade. Mm-hmm. The replaceable of blade. Yep. The skeleton handle version. This is the carbon. Um, I love I love my goat knives. Yep, they're quality. So check that out. But you can get entered to win. Just share the film on social media. Tag yep. us, and uh, we really appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Stay gritty. <laughs>